It was May 2017. I packed my bags and moved across the world to London, England. And moving to the new country means that I had to make new friends, start a new career, and learn a new language, a new culture. But most of you already knew that. However, what you don't know is a few years just before that, there were things that happened in my life that caused me to lose everything. I felt hopeless and I felt like a failure to be honest and I didn't see how things could get better. These two separate events that happened in my life had one thing in common. They required me to start over from nothing, from scratch. And this is a topic that I hold quite close to my heart and if you're someone that feel like you need to refresh, reset and restart your life all over again, then I hope you find comfort in the message that I'm trying to say. The first thing that you need to do when you need to reset start your life all over again is that you need to accept the situation. People tell you that you need to go to university, go to school, get good grades, then secure a really good job, stay there for a couple of years, get promoted and climb up the corporate ladder and things will all be fine. However, life is nowhere near a straight line. We have ups and we have downs and sometimes things don't go as we planned. Sometimes you lose a friend and sometimes you have to cope with an illness or injuries that you never thought would happen to you and sometimes your career is just not working for you anymore these things can happen to all of us you and me and life doesn't really care how old you are so these things can happen to you at any age and any point in time and sometimes starting over is actually the only thing that can make things better is the only thing that you need to do to be a better version of yourself tomorrow be wiser be smarter so acceptance is really important because without acceptance, you can't move forward. The next stage is to strategize. Once you've come into accepting that it is the way it is and maybe you've made a wrong decision or maybe things that's happened to you that you never thought it would happen but eventually it did and you have to move forward the next step is to plan think about the new directions and maybe set some goals that you have to pursue in order for you to get out of where you're feeling or the situation that you are right now many of you know that i am on a personal journey myself a personal finance journey where i'm trying to increase my income and decreasing my spending and live within our means so that me and my family at any point in time before the retirement age we can have some sort of financial freedom so we can free up our time to do something that we truly enjoy and with that how i move forward with my new relationship with money is that i set a three years goal i really think about where i myself and as a family where we want to be in the next three years we set a detailed goals of what we want to achieve and from the three years goal we use that three years goal as a base for our annual goal and you can completely use this goal setting method for any time at any point in time that you feel like you need to restart your life or reset any aspect of your life and with this next steps that you need to do in order to achieve your goals of course there are going to be people who are disagreeing with you and your plan but remember the biggest part of this process is to really focus on yourself and focus on on where you want to be next and what it takes for you to get there. Ask yourself questions such as, does what you want to do require capital? Can you do it alone? Or do you need someone else's support? How long it will take you to get there? With all this planning and setting goals, you can still be wrong, but that's okay. The point is not to be right. The point is to move on to the next chapter of your life so that you can be closer to the person that you want to be. It's like learning to walk again it is going to be difficult it won't be easy however without trial and error you are never going to make any change the next step is from all the items that you have included in your goals, find things that you can control and just go ahead and do it. What I find in life is that if you focus on the things that you can control and you work on them, most of the time positive results will happen. Let's say for example, and this may be a bit of a terrible example, however, is the first thing that came in my head. But let's say if you want to start a YouTube channel and you said that I want to gain 10,000 subscribers in two years, 
years, well, you know what? No one can control the YouTube algorithm and even people who work at YouTube can't even control the algorithm. So it's not really under your control how many subscribers you gain because it depends on how YouTube promotes your video. However, if you focus on the things that you can control, for example, focusing on your speaking skills, focusing on your editing skills, then perhaps your videos may be so good that people want to watch and then you might gain the number of subscribers that you want to be gaining. So these skills may be the things that help you getting closer or reaching your goals. So find the things that you can control, commit to them and just see what happens. Now let me ask you this, have you ever felt like you lost everything or you have nothing to show for for no specific reason well that's because you are comparing yourself with others and that's the last thing that you need when you are starting over in life because starting over means exactly what it is it means that potentially you are going to be a bit behind in life comparing to others but just because you're behind someone now today doesn't mean that you are going to be behind forever the only good thing that i can think about when it comes to comparing to others Others is that if you look at what other people have achieved, you could potentially use that as a motivation. When I first moved to the UK, when I started my ACCA journey, I was way behind comparing to everyone I knew. All of my peers that I worked with at the time, there were four papers ahead of me, five exams ahead of me, and I couldn't help but feeling behind. And although I couldn't help how I was feeling, at the same time, I was using this feeling as a motivation for me to push me forward and to finish my ACCA as quick as possible. And I was able to achieve that in three years with having a full-time job. Asleep, yeah. Now, if you've watched until this part of the video, thank you truly. I wanted this video to be a bit different, more of a conversational video where I'm sharing my thoughts and my experiences. And if you're someone who are feeling a bit stuck in life or need a restart then I really hope that you find my messages relatable and I hope that you can find comfort and know that you're not alone. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next time. When I fall asleep.